What's up, guys? It's me, your badass, host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Zapphire walkthrough. Okay, so, yeah, we did a lot. We went through Route 105, and now it is finally time for us to go, well, let's see, east. East of the whole place. Why can't we surf here is beyond me. But yes, we're going to be going to Route 105, 106, 107, yes, 108, 109. We're going to be doing everything, guys, because, well, that's what we do. We do everything on this walkthrough, including taking a small, small, uh, what was it called, side quest, as we're doing right now. So here we are in Route 107, and yeah, we're going to be continuing our little battles here against, uh, yeah, many of the Pokemon trainers right here. Uh, part of this is me training up some of the Pokemon that are captured from previous teams. You know, with these guys, Thunderball and all that stuff, the plan is to, yeah, make mega teams and all that crud. So, here we go, Charge Beam, to finish this guy off. Yeah. And just like that, Pelipper has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. And just like that, Thunderball grows to level 39. And, well, let's see. Beth, yeah, she's not happy. She is not happy at all. So let's go right ahead and continue on our adventure right here in Route 107. And, well, let's see. Right now we have Fluffblade, Shumli, and Hydra. Why? Because we are training them eh, to be to be both strong and, uh, what was it called? Stop pain. Yeah, I was about, like, she's ignoring me. So we're training them to either be strong or fully evolved right here. Because they are very, very, very important Pokemon right here. So here we go, taking on a Golden and a Gaia ready to go using its Trace, using its Water Veil. And, well, let's see. Let's go straight for a Magical Leaf. And just like that, Golden has been defeated. Alrighty. Okay, alright. And, well, let's see, Wilmer's going to be coming up, so, yeah, let's give Guy a little bit of a love right here. So, let's get it. Magical Leaf. And, there you go. Finished him off. And, there we go. Okay, and Shroom Lee. Shroom Lee, well, yeah, growing some levels right there, too, so that's pretty awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue on right here. Now, along the way, we will be finding something new. And it looks like, to me, we are close, very, very close to the next route. Talk to this guy, saying that this is his backyard and all that stuff. Yes, it's not his backyard. It really isn't. So, here we are taking on Tony, and he's coming out with his tentacle. I am going to go with Guy of the Fierce Knight, and I'm going to go with, uh, you know, a little bit of a... An attack right here that's gonna mess this guy up. So here we go. Psychic attack for the win. And there we go. Just like that, Tentacle has been defeated. And well, let's see. Swimmer Tony, not so happy right now. And well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and cross this border to Bam. Here we are, guys. Route 108. Right here, you'll be finding some more trainers. But on top of it all, you'll be finding a... Well, you'll, you'll definitely be finding something of interest here. So here we are taking on Swimmer Jerome. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and... Uh, let's go right ahead and do this, this thing right here. Let's go with a Psychic Attack. Alrighty. Psychic. Does the trick. And just like that, Tentacool... Defeated. Okay, alrighty, and Hydra, you know, level 24, doing its thing. Here comes Pelipper, so we're gonna be switching out to Thunderball right here. So, anywho, guys, um, let's see. The time of this recording, it is America Day. Pretty much the 4th of July and all that stuff. What I'm doing right now is kind of crazy, but I am uh, finishing up. I'm trying to get up to 40 episodes, and. You know, have them in stock just in case for, you know, if, if you know, the schedule gets a little crazy right here. And it looks like Shroom Lee is growing or is getting a new move, which, you know, I'm going to take away Stun Spore 4. So, yeah, like I was saying, guys, yes, I'm stocking up on episodes. Obviously, 
this episode right here will probably won't be part of the marathon that I usually have for my birthday, which, by the way, my birthday month. Yeah, everybody, everybody love the birthday month. And what is this? Yeah, Route 108. Okay, so never mind. So yeah, that's what I'm trying to do right there. Um, there will be a marathon, maybe of two, three episodes or something like that, uh, per day or per week. I don't even know per day. I should say for um, Pokemon uh, Alpha Sapphire on my birthday week. And, you know, I'm trying to get this whole thing done. That way we can head into the next uh, the next remake, which unfortunately for me happens to be Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Now, I never completed that walkthrough, mainly because we switched off to... Well, I, during that time I was actually... I was actually, what was it called? Um... I was moving into a, uh, a studio. That never panned out. I was, you know... It, yeah, it, it just didn't work out with the studio and all that stuff. And to top it all off, too, I went straight back to the original versions and redid all these, uh, these walkthroughs, for those who don't know. And look at that, Fluffplate is growing a new level. Hmm. But yeah, like I was saying, I went straight back to the original versions, and now... That right there, that that was what would prolong the whole thing. So, for those who are looking forward to, for those who are looking forward to getting uh, like you know a continuation of the uh, brilliant diamond and all that stuff, no, we are literally gonna we're literally gonna start it all over again because well you know kind of want to do it right. I did watch quite a few episodes or walkthroughs throughout you know fellow PokeTubers and all that stuff, and I know what I'm getting into. It's just, like I said, it's not really my favorite game, nor is the Sinnoh region my favorite game. If, if you had to get a, a real opinion about this whole thing is that they didn't really change anything in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond or Shiny Pearl. They didn't do anything. They just pasted, like copy and pasted and added a few kinks here, here and there on, on the remakes, which, you know, again, a high, like a very, very disappointing game and all that stuff. So, yeah, that's my opinion right there. Um, be going back into it hopefully we finish it and not stay bored or anything like that so yeah <laughs> anywho let's see i think we've already beaten her right let's go ahead and take on her stop ignoring me there she is and uh, yeah she does look good in the bikini mm, 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 mm. they all look good in bikinis for some reason okay so here we go taking on another whalmer Maybe this is the Poke Gods telling me I need to I need to watch more Pokemon or get more Whalmer and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and go with you know a psychic attack. Alrighty. Psychic attack. Does the trick. There goes Whalmer. And bam. Okay, Jody, J, Tommy JDF. Growing some levers too. Look at that. Okay. So who's next? Um, oh yeah, look at that. So it looks like to us, we got a little mission right here, which we're going to be going to right now. So if you guys don't know, this is Sea Mallville. In Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby, this was the abandoned ship. But now it's become Sea Mallville. It is an abandoned ship. And it's funny how, like, you know, we're talking about abandoned ships right now because, well, you know... You, you know, prior to this time, a few weeks ago, there was a, some kind of a event with a submarine and a specific, uh, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, bad timing right now. But we're going to be going through here and we're going we're gonna to be exploring just a few things here and there just to, you know, give you guys an idea what's going to go on. And Corefish defeated. Okay. Alrighty. There you go. And Shroom Lee. Steadily growing to level 20 right there, which is great. And... Well, let's go right ahead and move on right here. Now, this won't be our only visit to Sea Mauville. It's There's going to be more. There's going to be more, and you guys are going to be impressed with the, with the visits and all that stuff. Now, I'm going to be switching it up to Thunderball right here, and bam. Alright, let's go ahead and battle this guy right here. Now... Something that I feel that was done right in Pokemon, I want to say, I want to say in Pokemon Sword and Shield, 
correct me if I'm wrong, but something that they did right was the fact that you can have your own, what was it, your PC right there with you. That way you can keep on switching out Pokemon. If we would have had it right here, I kind of feel as though that like there would be a lot more Pokemon being trained and all that stuff without like you know having to switch in and out and all that crud. That would have been awesome right there. But that's either here nor there. And... Well, let's see. He's gonna be coming out with a macho, so let's go Tommy GDF and uh, kick some more butt right here. Alrighty. Okay. Bring it on. Macho, JDF, JDF, Aerial Ace, and there you go. Just like that, we finish this guy off. Macho is no more. Alrighty. Okay. And uh, well, let's see. <laughs> That was easy. That was pretty easy. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at Sea Mauville. Because, again, this place will be of importance later on for quite a few things. As you guys can see, it is tipped over. And, well, if you talk to this lady right here, she's going to be like, Oh my, are you a tourist? I am a member of the Nature Preservation Society that manages this site. Is there anything you would like me to tell you about Sea Mauville? So let's see. What is this place? So this place was once a facility built to extract natural resources that can be found in the ocean. However, a certain event led to the facility's closure. Normally, you would expect that an unnecessary facility like this one would be torn down. But an environmental survey carried out before the new construction led to the awareness that a unique environment had, had risen here in Seamauville. As a result, the, demil the demolition plans were shelved and this space was reborn as the Nature Preserve. Is there anything else you'd like me to tell you? And what is there to do here? So, the most easily recognizable feature of the Sea Mobile is the building, which is which now tilts pre uh, precariously into the sea. After being exposed to the elements for so long, the building's support structures weathered and corroded, ultimately leaving the building in its current state. Please be careful where you step as you as you experience yourself the awesome power of nature. Also note the, mag uh, the mangroves growing in the area, or in this area. They are extremely rare trees that can only be found here around Moss Deep City. Lastly, I would like to point out that the interior of the building has been largely untouched in the decades following Seamauville's closure. A fact that most of our visitors delight to experience. And, well... I guess that's a good thing right here. So we're going to be taking a look at this place. As you guys can see, there is an item. There are trainers. And look at that. We're going to not use a repel, but look at this, guys. Holy buckets. We are on top of the world right here. That is awesome. That is that is literally going to be my uh, thumbnail. If I remember. Anywho. Let's go right ahead and take care of a few things like this one right here you're gonna be finding yourself the tm18 rain dance which uh you know let me take a look at something right here let me take a look at something oh yeah i don't have them right here with me anywho let's go right here i saw an item and uh oh, i thought i was gonna battle him so here we found ourselves an escape rope and uh, let's talk to this guy I'm surveying Seamauville at the request of Captain Stern. True, true, okay. So, let's go ahead and see. Sniff, sniff. Just as I thought, your rare Pokemon must be hiding somewhere in this abounding building. Girls are very sensible to smell, so I know. Hmm. Are you? Are you very sensible? Talk to this kid. Isn't this place fun? I just get chills being here. And there are rumors about an awesome Pokemon living here. Which is true, um, later on you guys will find out, and there are some doors that are going to be closed for the time being. You go in here, and, well, there are two things, or three. We are looking for treasure when we found a trainer. Huh, we're looking for treasure, then we went and found a trainer. Okay, so that's the same thing right here. Alrighty, bring it. Here we go, take it on young couple Lewis and Hal. It would have been a lot better if it was Lewis and Clark, but... It is what it is. They're coming out with both these bug Pokemon. Volby and Illuminate or Illumise or something. I don't know how you pronounce it. But let's go right ahead and go with an Electro Charge right here. And let's go with a Draining Kiss. Uh, okay, I should have done it. I should have done it to the other guy, but whatever. 
There you go. Thunderball does the trick. And Draining Kiss defeats Volbeep. So there goes one. And there we go. Guy of the Fierce Knight grows to level 37. And Hydra at level 25. Shroomly, 21. Fluffblade, 21. Yeah, okay. So here comes an Encore, which is probably the worst thing this Pokemon could have ever done. So let's go with an Electro Ball to Illumise. And go with a Draining Kiss back to that, that same Pokemon right here. So here we go. Bam! That nearly takes out this Pokemon, and here comes a Draining Kiss for the win. And just like that, bam! We are victorious. And Thunderball grows to level 40, which is great. Fantastic. And, well, the young couple have been defeated. I'm happy about that. Very, very happy. So, let's see. Let's see what ends up happening right here. Okay, so if you talk to these people... It's going to be, we heard it was here, but we haven't found any treasure. Maybe someone else has took it. And what kind of treasure would it would it, uh, be in this dump like this? No matter what it is, I know what I'm buying with who find it. <laughs> that kind of sucks. Now, if you talk to this guy, places like this are rare. So I'm taking a good look around. Hmm. 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 There appear to be other rooms. And, well, there's a gigantic PC. Moss is growing in a broken mirror. Uh, this is an old shelf, and it's a teacup that is printed in letters. Adversity is uh, on the shelf. So later on, guys, you will be able to notice some stuff. Like it's an impression. Uh, it's a picture of a guy with an impressive mustache and stomach. He's smiling in many men in jumpsuits in front of C. Marville. Hmm. Like I was saying, you will eventually find some interesting things right here. And here we found ourselves a Max Repel. And, well, let's see. Talk to this kid. Ah, uh, I can't go farther. If my Pokemon knows the move Dive, I might be able to get farther. That is true. And if you talk to this guy, when I was young, I worked here. Even though it was close for Pokemon's sake, looking at my old workplace deteriorating like this gives me mixed feelings. Hmm. And the door is locked. So, that right there, for right now, is what you can find here in C. Mauville. Later on, you will be able to find a buttload of things, including two rare Pokemon, maybe even three. And, uh, well, we're, uh, let's see. We're going to get the heck out of here, and we're going to stop right here, guys. In the next episode, we're going to continue on our adventure through Routes 108, 109. Battle a whole bunch of trainers and all that stuff. Yes, I know it's a little premature, but... I think we did. We, we got our fill of our episodes right here. So, again, thank you guys again for being uh, supportive. Very, very patient as always. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Walkthrough. See you guys.